Continuous improvement in student numeracy learning outcomes uh, with a particular focus. No, that's probably with not going to work. With an emphasis on number. Mm -hmm. It would also be, um, you know how you talked about the skills and reasoning? The skills and, and reason. reasoning. Reasoning. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I probably, I was playing with that when I put, um, what did I put? Some A bunch of dot points about. Where did I put those dot points? This uh, teaching and learning, a range of teaching approaches that cater for conceptual, procedural. Yeah, it probably should go in there as well. Yeah, I agree. Okay, this is what I'm going to ask you to do from now until, what is it? It's just after 10. I want, I've got some blanks here. I've got um, blank for everyone. I didn't bother redoing the front um, four pages. I've just done the grid thing. Can I just ask you, in your pairs, in your teams, in your table, by yourself, however you feel, have a look through that um, full document you've got. And then on this one, um, perhaps jot down, even if it's like, you know, tick, 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 or some code that means, yes, we'll, we'll translate that across to there. But any other things that, as well, that you think at your school you would like to have on this planning template? Um, a comment down the front was that somewhere in there I probably should have put something about that stuff to do with um, reasoning. You know, I've got, yeah, I've got skills, but I haven't got reasoning. And so that probably needs to be stuck in there with that, where those dot points are about conceptual. The other idea about, you know, the focus on number, um, where would you put that in such a document? Are there other accountability things? I mean, some of those accountabilities won't be relevant to your school. Some will be. Um, Could you put your givens in there somewhere? You know, your whole school. The, what do you mean? Like the scope and sequence thing? No, givens that you talked about, I think, the first session. Yeah. You know, we'd have our friends today and... An hour of maths is in there, but... Um, are the givens the goal? No, the goals are more like that, you know, the big, broad, sweeping statement. Okay, this, the question is, it's those that list of non-negotiable kind of things, yeah. Um, in the lesson structure, what's the document that's coming out of that? That would mean, because this is only like the overview document, behind that then will sit your thing about these are the non This is what our whole school lesson structure is and this is what they look like, yeah. So that's, can I just bring us back because there's lots of talk around the room and that's exactly what I want but in about five minutes. Can we just come back together for a minute? The, the comments being made, and they're all, they're all worthwhile comments, about you know, your non -nego the non-negotiables, about um, we're going to have you know, launch, explore, summarise, or we're going to have a warm-up, or we're going to have a whatever, blah, blah, blah. That, that part in here on structure that says you're going to have an agreed, whatever it is, what does it say, a whole school, a whole school lesson structure, that's, that would, that, in this document, because this is like the broad sweep of what's happening, behind this then will sit individual documents that your school will draw up. Remember I keep saying all along, the conversations we've had so far are so terrific. I've said to Lena that in a way you're almost past a lot of this stuff. You're filling this in but at the same time you'll be able to produce the document at the side that goes with it and you know like the scope and sequence, you'd probably almost be able to produce that now, the whole school assessment plan, there it is. So this is like a broad sweeping thing, but over here are the, probably the, um, the nuts and bolts of what the teachers will actually have, whereas this is the, the, you know, the glossy front bit. So you might even on your blank sheet um, put little asterisks at the side that will help you explain what is the document that's you know, gonna sit in behind there that you'll know um, applies to your school. But if I give you some time to work on that and have a talk on it, because whatever you, the conversations you have now will be the same conversations you'll have with your staff when you get back to school. And the main thing is I, I don't want people to be 
frightened by this because in reality, I, well, I don't think there's nothing on there that we haven't talked about and kind of thought about as that that's an appropriate thing to have at school anyway, um, with the exception of the perhaps the um, technology and the PD, and that's my oversight because I don't know enough about, um, you know, what school, uh, what department emphasis there is on some of that stuff. So that's why when it came up in the literacy plan, I left it there because I thought that must be something that the education department are into. But the other stuff is just stuff we've talked about in here. Okay, so I'll give you until tea break to have the talk about that and read that through and add, take away, whatever you feel needs to be done on it. Just going down the path of this being a planning for planning document and to follow on from the point here, this school over here, and I don't know which school it is, um, <laughs> already have... <laughs> Okay, they already have their scope and sequence and a beautiful document it is already. Who's already got um, an assessment, an annual assessment plan at their school? There you go, that one's done already. Who's already got the accountability stuff featured in? You have, is that a half hand? A sort, of, sort, sort of. Sort of, yeah, okay. Who's got the PD um, plan developed for the school? This one's got a term one that nobody knows about. And you've got one happening, yeah. So that's, that's terrific. There's, you know, you can see that a lot of the work has actually been done in, and you've had the discussions with your staff already about non-negotiables. Okay, now, this afternoon I decided what's hopefully going to happen is you're going to get some opportunity to have a practice go um, talking about how you may want your professional learning teams to go about developing units of work in the year ahead because I know from my own experience that happens in all kinds of wild and wonderful ways depending not only what school you're in but which professional learning team you're in. I've been in schools where um, the whole term's work is planned by some teacher over the school holidays who obviously has no life and, <laughs> <laughs> and she just brings in a document and gives it to everyone and you know they I don't even know do they follow it or do they not do they you know because accountability is sometimes not there as we know. Um, sometimes what happens is uh, the team get together and say, what will we teach this term? And people scratch their head and say, I've never taught, you know, year three before or something. What did you do last year in term two? And it kind of stumbles along like that without necessarily a reference to a big picture or anything at all. And some schools are fantastically organised with charts and butcher's paper happening all over the place and looks like a work of art. I'm, again, not sure that it necessarily translates to practice, but certainly looks like a work of art. So it's worth having a talk with your staff back there about how do you go about planning. Everybody, well that's not even true is it? I was about to say every team gets usually about half a day and in a generous school a full day but I know as well there are some primary schools where you don't get um, some time off. You may get your art lesson and your library lesson back to back as a special treat so that you get um, <laughs> two lots of, a it is, it's true isn't it, two lots of APT banged in together and you know that's when you've got to plan for the whole term, don't know. But you might, well I, I would be too, on that planning document you might want to put something in there about what is it that we do about planning at this school and is that is that an acceptable, you know, is it a, a proper amount of time? And do we make the best use of that time? What goes on in those planning um, meetings?